All right. Hello. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to do sort of a combination of Ingrid Calame and uh, Martin Creed. This is Martin Creed's done the steps here at the Scotsman building. I assume that's what the building's called. And each one's in a different marble. And what Ingrid Calame does is she kind of traces. It's all about looking down on the floor and seeing shapes that you'd otherwise overlook and really, really scrutinising small detail, okay? Some friends of mine. Um, really scrutinising small detail. Um, uh, to kind of re-look at things in different ways. And so this is really great, this one, because we've been sort of here for a little while. I've redrawn some there, look. And it looks like an archipelago or something. But um, the more I look at this, the more violent it is. Like, the lines of it so like stark it's like um lightning just like ripping through it and then you got this one here which is intensely drab this one's like fat legs of an old man like the faint hint of like cellulite and veins it's tedious and then this one i mean it's astonishing but i don't think i would sit and stare at this for this long otherwise and then you've got things like this you know like overtones of violence right here the cigarettes the tramps piss you know it's like marble imitating life, you know. I'm looking for like discernible shapes. Like, you know when you're looking at clouds? Oh, that looks like an elephant. Oh, that looks like a man's face. Or you know when you're sleeping peacefully at night and you wake up and there's like a man's face towering over you, like, ah! <laughs> um, so that's what I'm sort of looking for is, and I don't think that's actually that helpful because that's not really what she does. The point is kind of tracing it for what it is and then taking that away from where you are and abstracting it and then seeing it as the shapes and adding new colour and new perspectives and stuff. But instead, that does look a bit like a man with a big chin from the right angle, right? That, that ring of piss. It's a bit like it. So that's what I'm going to look for. Look, look, that's that bit, look. It's exactly like it. I've done it, I've replicated it exactly. This one's a lot more veiny. But I mean, it is a really... Uh, interesting bit of work because the more you look at it the more fascinating it becomes the more you think gosh that one is so different to this one and this one which one's my favourite why are some so beautiful to me and others irrelevant who knows who knows that looks a bit like a duck there I'm disappointed by the lack of discernible shapes I hope to see more faces in them maybe it's me my brain's not working right what we need is like an eight-year-old child. But that's how I dress, so, I mean, we should be all right. Imagine this, right? Imagine we're on a plane and we're looking down. Couldn't that look, this bit especially, looks like farms and fields, it's flecked with snow, eh? That's right, isn't it? That's right, isn't it? I got it right. This one, boring, boring, holy cow! Look at the colours here. Wow. Oh, well, I hope people can see this and come and look at this themselves. Because to be honest, I was like, ah, Martin Creed, sure. But you know, he's done a good job. Not that I have anything against him, I don't. But, you know, I, I was like, sure, whatever, sure. But actually, hats off to him. And this one feels like the bottom of uh, standing in a river and looking down at the pebbles or something. This one actually looks like a scrunched up old woman's face. Do you see it? I'm drawing that. It's amazing how evocative just looking at the abstract patterns are. Like, oh, look at this. This is, wow, that is wonderful. That doesn't look real at all. That looks a bit like a, like a fetus. And then you've got here, look, that's like a row of trees. I mean, that's astonishing. I'm going to copy all of that. And that's, I mean, maybe Martin Creed has drawn these on. We just don't know. We don't know whether we can trust Creed's uh, intervention or not, or lack of, we don't know. I can't draw how good it looks. I'm not an artist. I'm barely a clown. This one is very much li uh, like uh, clouds. Although that looks quite Japanese. That looks like Mount Fuji or something. And these ones are very English Calame already. Like that, the way it looks all traced out and quite sparse. This looks like a coastal scene, right? Look. This is the bay, there's the sea, there's, uh, there's the bay there, the sand, and there's the sea, look, it's like a harbour, and this is all the landscape around it. That really does look like it, doesn't it? I mean, this is like doing a Rorschach test for me, 
At the end you can be like, you are a psychopath. <laughs> At the end. Seriously though, how many more floors are there? Seriously. Because I'm tired. Okay, sure, marble, marble, sure. Oh, that one is good though. That one is good. That one reminds me of William Blake or something. The angels. Oh, that's good. Where's your favorite? Is this your favorite? Oh my God, still to come. Is that your favorite? What is his favorite? This one is good though. Oh, I see it, I see it. Oh, what a treat, the top one. Oh, that is gorgeous. That's like the clear and open sea. It's been quite fun to do, I mean, it's a conglomerate. I don't know if it really captures all the beauty. It's in this, and I suppose this is kind of the direct opposite of Ingrid Calame because these are intrinsically beautiful things where the patterns are obvious and inherent and kind of with her it's the opposite, it's about real subtlety in things that other people would pass up. But I suppose this is kind of a way of doing that a bit because some people are just walking down the steps and they have no no, uh, they don't notice it, you know. But I'm very clever. That's how I can talk about art. <laughs> it's very beautiful. That's like a leaf, eh? It's lovely to look at them and speculate what they're a bit like. It's really fun. <laughs>